Hello again, this is tutorial number 10 and we'll be taking another look at user lists, trying to wrap up uh, all the features we've actually identified in previous tutorials and give some information on some remaining settings that can be used to customize even more your user lists. So if you go to our list management area, we'll see that we basically have created three user lists, a members table list, a grid members list, and the grid canvas members list. And if you go to the front end, this is what the members table list looks like. And we can select the grid member list and the grid canvas member list. Okay, now let's go to the first one. And basically, if you remember, we have enabled searching on the views field. And that's why we see the range. Views is an integer, so we see between two numbers, basically. Uh, if we want to, let's go back to the <coughs> actual user list configuration. And we look in our parameters, and we have a search tab here. And this first parameter basically uh, instructs Community Builder on how this list should be searchable. So we can turn searching off altogether. We can keep searching for displayed fields, and means fields on the list provided that they have been enabled searchable in the Community Builder field management area. We can select all fields to be searchable, all searchable fields to be searchable on this list. So let's turn this on for a second just to see the difference and save. If I go now and refresh my user list and click search, I will see the username appears, the gender field, and the views field. The username and the gender field are not directly in the list. Uh, if you remember, this gender symbol was basically added to the formatted name field. So the actual gender field uh, is not in the list per se. So that's why it didn't appear in the previous setting. But now that we've selected that all searchable fields can be searchable on the list, we see the username and the gender field as searchable. A third setting here is I can actually select which fields are searchable on this list. So I can say I only want the gender field. If I save this and go and refresh my list here, and do a search, I will only see the gender list. So, so you have a lot of flexibility here on what to do with each list. Going back, now we have another parameter here, the search criteria. And by default, this is set to simple exact match search. But there are other settings here. We can have simple any word search or advanced. Uh, let's go the second one. And in order to see things here, let's put the first parameter back to all searchable fields and save. Going and refreshing now my user list and click search. And let's assume I want to search for. anything that starts with a J here. You see I have Jacob, Jennifer, and John for the user list, for the username. So that's what this simple any word match field I mean does. There's also an advanced setting here. Let's click on that. 
and go and do a refresh. Now we see things are a little different. Username is exactly contains and so on. There's a lot of different settings here that we could use. Same thing for gender is one of is not <laughs> okay is one of male and female so I can basically with this search method I can find uh, or basically is not one of so I can find users that have not selected their field their gender In this case it's empty but this setting kind of tells you uh, shows you the the strength of searching so you can basically decide what level of searching you want and just implement it here the last two settings here in the search uh, tab are basically cosmetic hiding or showing empty searches collapsing or not the search criteria so you can just experiment with these I don't want to there's no reason for me to go through them uh, they're kind of simple just set it and see what happens now one last thing here for user lists, uh, we can create a menu here. Let's create the main menu. And let's call this members table list. So what I'm going to do now is create a Joomla menu that goes to my to a single user list. It won't show, here we go, user list. And I have to give it a list ID here. Let's just, I think it's one, but I'll go back and check it. And just save that. Go back and make sure the list is number one. No, it's not, it's number five. So let me go back and edit it. <laughs> Members table list. List ID number five. Save and close. So if I go now and refresh <coughs> my front page, I see a new Joomla menu. If I click on this, I'm basically going to this member list. I'm still showing the drop down. We can change or not. Let's see if I can turn this off somehow. In uh, the new Joomla menu item, it's pointing to the members uh, table list and I see the selectors on if I want to turn this off I can turn this off at the list level so the uh, parameters display list here we'll see that there's a show list selector if I set this to no it will turn this off So I set it to no. Go back and refresh here. Do it correctly. Okay. We see the list selector is gone. Now that's. This is kind of bad because now if I go here, I don't get a list selector by default. So what I should have done is go to the list management area here and basically clone this copy there we go and just call this here member list no selector <laughs> save this Okay, see, this became default now. Let me just put the default back to the first one and edit this and turn this back to the selector here. And basically, the next thing we have to do, basically go here and change the user ID to 10 in our menu. Okay. Hopefully this works. So I go to the front end now. CB user list. I have the selector here. 
member your table list no select okay well I think this wraps up the user list uh, overview with the other tutorials that basically hinted uh, build build it up the uh, features so you should be in a position now just experiment and do anything you want with user lists thanks for listening